And the first thing I want you to understand is that when you're using the setup builder, this is how you get information from the operations center to your display, whether it be a 2630 or a Gen 4, or 4640, or 4600. Where I like to start on this is I go up to this tools button on the top. It's a square, the four squares. And then you have a search window up here that allows you to do a little bit of uh, streamlining as far as shortening out the process. You can type in set and it'll bring up the setup builder icon. Go ahead and click on that. So what we're going to do when we look at this screen, we're going to work from the left to the right across the top and just fill everything in. But before we do that, we need to say what kind of display we're using. So in this particular case, let's uh, use a 2630. And we're going to give it a name. Uh, this is something that you would see on your uh, once you have it uploaded to where you can identify it. A lot of times it's nice to put a date in there. We've done the, the name, now we're going to create from existing or create new. In this particular case, what I'd like to do is create new. So now we're going to go down and hit start on the lower right. So now what we have is we have uh, file details are here. We have the land we can choose. You do not have to have all of the uh, fields and farms in the display at the same time, but a lot of times we will check mark them all to do that, you hit this little check mark on the top, we'll populate all of them. And what that is going to do is bring in everything that you have in the operation center. If it comes up that you don't need to, you would just uncheck mark what you don't want. The next thing would be equipment. We're going to take a look here at the machines that we have. Again, a lot of times you'll check mark all of them, but if you only want to send it to the combine, you could. If it's not listed here, you always have these little plus buttons on the bottom where you can add the equipment. For this purpose, let's just go ahead and do all the check marks. Then we'll hit next on the bottom. Little red uh, message popped up here and that indicated that we have some equipment, but we don't have any implements. So come back, check mark the implement and select what you want to go to the file there. Again, if you don't see an implement that you want, you can add it by the plus button on the bottom. Products are a similar way. You don't need to put them all in there, but if you want, you can by just check marking that button. Once again, the plus mark on the bottom that allows you to add something if you do not see it where you want. Then go to the bottom and hit next. The operator is uh, in here already. If you uh, don't see the operator you want, you can add an operator, and uh, it can be from an existing uh, staff member that's on your operations center, or you can add, uh, create a new one. I've already done this, so I'm just going to show you how it's done. If you just All right, Parker's there, so we're going to go ahead and just add him. Hit Next. So now we have a summary of everything that we've got in ready to be sent to the various display. Everything looks fine there. Create a file. You have an option right now of transferring this information to the machine without loading it to a thumb drive. Wireless data transfer and the JD Link process helps us do that. In this particular case, we're going to create without sending, but you could bypass the whole process of a USB and taking it out to the display if you had the capability of doing that with Connect. So now we've created the file. It's on now a program called File Manager, so we'll go straight to the File Manager. As you can see, this is our setup file. That's what we named it. And it says it's a setup file and it is finished. If you want, and you have several setup files, you can go down here to the file type. And instead of having everything selected, you can select setup. Right there. Filters it down, streamlines the process just a little bit. 
So let's go ahead and pick one. This is one that I had done before. Uh, going to go ahead and use that and then hit the download button. All right, you've got two choices. If you want, you can have a file downloaded just uh, as a shape file. But in our case, we're doing a setup, and you always want to use the data manager. So anytime it's coming from or going to a display, you're going to be using the data manager. Then we'll hit download. Okay, what comes up next is a uh, button on the bottom. You click on that, and the data manager automatically pops up. It will ask you, what drive do you want to put it on? This would be your choice. If it's not the one you want, you go and pick another one and then hit transfer. That will begin the process. I'm going to show you what this looks like once it's uh, loaded onto the display. If you sent it wirelessly, it would already be there. If you load it onto USB, you need to take it out to the display and import it. So on the sprayer, with a uh, Gen 4 display, we have a main menu button on the bottom, hit System, and File Manager. The File Manager will then show you the folder that you brought in. The real nice thing about the Gen 4 displays, and I'll talk about it a bit more on the 2630s, but the Gen 4 has the ability to select what you bring in. The 2630, whenever you did an import file, it would overwrite the other files. And so you had to make sure that you had everything on the setup file you want. In the Gen 4, you can pick what you want to bring in. If you don't want to do implement profiles, you just uncheck mark it. And then you would hit import. So now let's go to the 2630. Same process. You go to the main menu button, GS3. And the memory tab is where it would be. Now that setup folder would be right here. If you have a lot of folders, you can go ahead and se select the uh, just the setup to filter it, and you would see it and bring it all in. Again, on the 2630, you do not have the ability to pick and choose. You have to bring the whole file in. 